Good morning and welcome to the Cathedral Church of All Saints Halifax and to our service of morning prayer for Wednesday, November 16th, 2022. This place of worship stands on the unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. Thank you for joining me this morning. Lord, open thou our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God rules over all the earth. O come, let us worship. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today, we are completing our reading of Psalm 119. So we are reading verses 169 through 176. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your promise. My lips shall pour forth your praise when you teach me your statutes. My tongue shall sing of your promise, for all your commandments are righteous. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your commandments. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let me live and I will praise you, and let your judgments help me. I have gone astray like a sheep that is lost. Search for your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid, for the Lord God is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation, and you will say in that day, Give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing praises to the Lord, for he has done gloriously. Let this be known in all the earth. Shout aloud and sing for joy, O royal Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Here ends the lesson. The poem I have for you today is titled Sonnet and was written by Rupert Brooke, one of the many poets who died in, during fighting during World War I. Sonnet. Oh, death will find me long before I tire of watching you and swing me suddenly into the shade and loneliness and mire of the last land. There, waiting patiently, one day, I think, I'll feel a cool wind blowing, see a low light across the Stygian tide, and hear the dead about me stir, unknowing and tremble, and I shall know that you have died, and watch you, a broad-browed and smiling dream, pass light as ever through the lightless host, quietly ponder, start and sway and gleam, most individual and bewildering ghost, and turn and toss your brown delightful head amusedly among the ancient dead. The summary of the law. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, 
with all your mind and with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Let us pray. God, as your only Son revealed you still at work in your creation, so through Christ your living word, enable us to know your love and to share it with others. We ask this in his name. Amen. Almighty God, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to be the light of the world. Free us from all that darkens and ensnares us, and bring us to eternal light and joy through the power of him who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we close with the Lord's Prayer and the Dismissal. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>